What is up? What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. Want to give you guys, want to bring you guys today a video on blockchain, guys, and how blockchain is expanding to colleges and universities, and and how they are starting to use blockchain technology to store a lot of their important and secure data in a decentralized manner, and why they're trying, why they're starting to do this. Uh, very interesting article I was reading this morning, so I just wanted to share it with you guys. But let's go ahead and take care of some housekeeping first. Go ahead and like this uh, video, uh, share this thing out, and um, also subscribe subscribe to the channel, guys. It's free for you, um, and it means a lot to me, and I'll, I'm forever grateful and ever appreciative for everybody who does that. So go ahead and hit that sub button. Also hit that bell notification so you guys get notified of any um, new videos I put out. So appreciate that. But with that, let's go ahead and get into this article a little bit, and I'm just going to break it. I'm going to... Go ahead and just explain to you what it is and what it's saying and um, who's actually participating, some of the schools that are actually participating in this. So the universities um, right now have, have tons and tons of data that they're sitting on um, um, from years and years and years of records um, that they have stored in uh, cloud-based services. And this is some very sensitive data. Um, it is uh, people's social security numbers, people's credit information, people's... You know, if you've been to college and you filled out financial forms and you filled out financial aid or you filled out any type of financial form or any type of even residential form, it has anything and everything that you could possibly that somebody would possibly need to know about you stored on these um, cloud based servers. Right. So what these universities have come to realize is, one, they, they're losing a lot of data um, by storing it on cloud based services, uh, links getting lost. Uh, usernames getting forgotten, passwords are forgotten, and all of this data is just kind of sitting there, um, and they're losing a lot of what they have stored, which um, obviously causes them guys a lot of compliance issues, a lot of um, regulatory issues when it comes to a HIPAA perspective, all this stuff um, that could be used as negatives to them. So one of the solutions that they've come up with is blockchain technology and storing the data on the blockchain, right? Uh, moving moving it from a cloud-based server to a decentralization of data, right? Which is actually the exact right move. Um, your data is always there. It's never lost. It's always stored in a secure location. Um, you don't have to really worry about passwords, web links, um, all this stuff getting lost, getting on getting um translated incorrectly all of this stuff that they're dealing with right now so um oh they're going to start moving their data to a decentralized uh, blockchain so who's doing this a bunch of small universities or a bunch of big universities a bunch of no-name universities or a bunch of universities that actually have some pull in moving data to a decentralized location and making it mainstream well how is mit for you um mit's doing it um, Berkeley's doing it, uh, Stanford's doing it, um, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of colleges are, are taking care of it here. Um, a bunch of high name colleges are, are doing it and, um, actually taking care of it and storing their data on decentralized locations. Um, so there is a list here in this article, um, but I did want to point out some, some very high, high, um, high names to you guys. Um, and that is, you know, MIT, um, Stanford, California, Berkeley, um, Yale. Uh, so a lot of these guys that actually have some clout inside of the system are actually um, taking us up on taking this blockchain data and, and using the blockchain to store their data. So go ahead, check this article out. I'll leave a link to it underneath. But I always like to bring you guys videos where... Um, we're not only talking about cryptocurrency, but we're talking about blockchain development in general and how blockchain is going to move um, this country forward um, as far as uh, data storage, data movement, um, and also speed of money transactions, cross-border payments, all that stuff. So go ahead and like this video, share this out, go ahead and sub to the channel, guys. Go ahead and hit that um, bell notification for any new updates, but Big news, guys! A lot of big name universities are going to start to go and start going to start to use a decentralized uh, decentralized storage, um, and it looks like Filecoin might be it, maybe. 
Um, that's who they were talking about talking with in this article is Filecoin. So um, if you're in Filecoin, pay attention to that. If you're not, do a little bit of background research, see if this might be something you want to get into. Um, but in this article, Filecoin was mentioned a lot. So um, with that, everybody have a great day. See you guys on the next one.